That's not an ambitious one. Ben, 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 what are you doing, Ben? Ben, Ben, what are you doing? Good morning. I'm Lynn. This is Ben, who's really excited. And this is Arnie, I guess. And welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. It's a lot cooler today, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing... That's your cue. Oh, we're going to get some uh, ewes and breeding groups today. And we're going to have our debate on what ram we're going to use, I guess. Eh, huh? Is that what we're going to call it? A debate? Well, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to show people what we're, I'm going to show people why we got to make a decision on the ranch because it's, every ram has a fault. So we're going to pick out the worst fault we can find and use the best ram we can find. So, and of course, it's a matter of opinion too. So let's get started. Right, Ben? Here we are, starting chores. We're starting in the coveralls today because we want to end up in the barn with the rams. <laughs> Hi, Leonard. I think I'll get a pail. Say our good, good morning hellos to Leonard here. Hi, Lenny. An angel. Yeah. We're going on a market run, I think, Monday, but I'm thinking of putting this ram lamb from Geronimo in with Leonard as a keeper. I like his legs, I like his build. He's smaller because he's younger, but uh, I'd like to have another Geronimo ram here, so. I'm thinking he looks nice. Got one guy who seems to be stuck under the feeder. So we're just going to give him a little boost. And then they got to go in farther. He might be able, if, you, if he squiggles forward, he could get out. There you go, buddy. He's a little, uh, it's almost like being cast. They can squish in there, but they can't squish back out. Hi, you're not so silly as to do that. Leonard here, he's a humdinger. The dot is still here, so she's looking a lot better. Hi. We'll get these guys fed and then we'll open the gate again and let them all out. Not these girls. These girls are staying in just because they're going to be going in with a ram in a few days. And we've got some going to new homes. So since they're clean right now, we don't want them to get any worms. Here's Nibbles. She's finished her grain. And we're just going to go let her out to pasture. Right? Right? Are you a good girl? Is that you? It's you. Yeah, it is. It is. It's you. You're a sweetheart. It's due for another shot, so we just poked her right now, so she doesn't like that. Hi, nibbles. You don't need to be nibbling. Hi. Hi. Hi, you guys. Want to go outside? Stampeding, you guys. No stampeding. 
a pasture. Hi, hot lips. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. You're lovely. Oh my goodness, you are. Where's your mom? Hi, Big Betty. Hi. Okay. You're just going to make sure they go to the back of the field. Oh, she's hurt her leg too. Well, actually, she might have a string on her. Ben, Ben, here. We'll never be able to catch her because she doesn't have wool on her, but she's got a rope tied around her neck and her foot. <sighs> we caught her. She has a foot uh, rope wrapped around her foot, and then somehow that goes all the way around her neck like she's been, what do you call it, trussed? If need be, I can run back and get a knife. That would take a while. <laughs> well? I'd take that carry the heat back first. Would you really? Yeah. I don't think you would. I'll try work on her neck. Come on, sweetheart. Let's try to get your neck. I got it off her foot. Then I noticed it. Is that all of it off? Yeah, she almost, uh, she almost choked herself. Yeah. Good know. girl. Good girl. You're okay now. <laughs> Good thing we noticed that. She was like trust. Okay, all this hauling of grain iron is getting pretty strong. That's how many? Six 35 pound pails? You could enter an Iron Man con competition or Mr. Universe. Only, only from against Arnold. Oh, Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh, they're empty. <laughs> Right now we're gonna bring all the rams inside. Maybe not the dorsets if we don't have to, but. Now they're. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they all, st a few stay back and then you can separate them a lot easier. But not this time. Stay there, Ben. This is the fellow with laminitis. They made our decision on the Suffolk Rams. They aren't quite the way we thought we were going to go. We put red marks on the ones we're going to use probably as cleanup rams. In the last two cycles, we'll pull the rams out and we'll put two cleanup rams in. So we've got them marked. We're gonna use Jed, I think, and maybe General, General or Hilton as cleanup rams. So our decisions for this group are Moni, 
So everyone will be happy about Monty being chosen. We chose him for several reasons. Um, one, he's a young, vigorous ram that we've never used before. His markings are exactly where we want him to be. He's got a really nice back. He's really deep. Um, Arnie likes his head. That's what I don't like about him. His ears. I don't like his ears at all. They stick out. And they, but they stick out. They should be drooping and they should be uh, flicked. So to me, that's Monty's fault, his ears. But ears are really nothing. They're just cosmetic. You can see he's built perfectly. He's got um, good testicles, like a really good pair. The thing I would fault about his testicles is that they hang down a little bit too much. But um, they're even and it is very hot. He's got wide hips, really good back legs. Um, he needs a little more condition, but a lot of people would say he's in fantastic condition. Why are you shaking? And his biggest fault, in both of our opinion, is that on his front legs, yeah, it's not horrible. That's why we're using them. And we got a little bit of straw here. He's up on his pasterns, but. Yeah, he's not, he's not very bad. Um, if you look a little bit, you'll see they're a little pigeon-toed. I mean, you, you have to look. I love that voice. Monty's got a baby voice. So if we're going to say his number one fault, we're going to say it's his pigeon-toed feet at the front. But he's up on them. They're fantastic at the back. Everything else is good. That we've yet to find a perfect ram so we're gonna go with that and now we're gonna go on a totally opposite one Monty is also an RR and he's our breeding our next one is our breeding as well now this guy has better testicles than Monty here while I'm in the light Ernie so um, see the attachment is just a little bit better on him little wider as the, they attach to his body. You like that. He's got wide hips. Um, he's standing in a really, really odd position right now. Yeah. Well, he's way, he's stretched out like a... He's a long ram. I know. I'm guessing he's long as Monty or longer. Um, so he's our British ram. This is Hannibal. He's probably our least attractive fellow because I find the British ones are not as attractive. His back, but he's long, he's deep, he's extremely wide. His ears are better than Monty's. See, he's got, a Brit, he's got a British head. I like his head, but he, and his ears are right. So see how the, his ears come down and they flick at the end. That's a proper Suffolk ear. Monty's missing that. Um, fault with him is that he's a QR and he's a little shorter but we are trying to bring them down a little so we're gonna use Jed our big tall ram as a cleanup because he's really really nice um, but we're gonna let the little short guy have a go he's had a go before he's the dad of Tammy and he's big bones. So they're both our rams. Monty's taller. Monty is, this is his first breeding, so he's a year and a half. And um, I think Hannibal would be H, J, K, L. Monty, uh, Hannibal's three. So two uh, rams in their prime. That's what we're going with. Two totally, totally different rams here. They look nothing alike. But they both have really good wide hips and back legs. So here we are, sorting sheep. Isn't this going to be fun, Arnie? Yeah, great. These are the suffix that we brought over. Arnie brought them over while I was getting all the records set up. 
because he does the moving the sheep and I do all the record keeping. So we got all the stuff here. We decided on the rams, which took a lot of time. And now we're gonna mark everybody. So anyone in Felon's group is gonna have a single red dot and Hannibal's group is gonna have a single green dot. And we're just, when I scan them, I'm gonna scan to see that they're not related to the rams we're using. And then I will record them on my paper here and they will, um, that's how we'll sort it. And I'm gonna turn it off while we do this and we'll catch up once it's all done. So over lunch, we made a change yet again. We uh, decided to take Monty out and use Felon instead. Only because Felon's an RR and Felon's an old ram. And we're afraid that this could be Felon's last year. And we thought, give him one more shot because he was a really, really good ram for us. So um, these red dots are going to be Felon's group. Okay, Felon's been through this routine before. The key will be to not let any other rams come out with him. No, Calvin. Calvin always wants to go. This is the right ram? I think that's him, yeah. Well, we can check when he's out of here. Check his ear tag, but I'm sure that's Felon. Okay, he's uh, probably our oldest ram right now. That's why I say we thought maybe we should use him one, one more time. He, um, if you wanna listen to numbers, he was the highest ranked Genovis Suffolk ram the year we got him. And he has uh, always done well for us produces nice, medium-sized, meaty, well-confirmation lambs, and he is an RR. His markings are perfect. Everything doesn't really have too many faults, this guy. And he doesn't have a huge group, just 20-something. So for a boy his age, he should have no problems at all. And because he was a show sheep, he likes to go on the halter. It's a very uh, quiet ram, gentle ram. We've always been happy with him. Come on buddies, go to the back. You too, sweetheart. So we're gonna, this group's gonna go to the back and I'll hold them back there and and uh, Arnie's gonna put the wall up between the breeding groups. Come on. And Tammy's in his group because Tammy is from Hannibal, so obviously she can't go in Hannibal's group. We're not going to bother with the harness in here. The harness, we really do find the harness is a pain in the neck. Um, and I think it looks uncomfortable. So we're going to leave it. We just did it for fun because people had mentioned it with um, Casanova. But I don't really see the point because we do use cleanup rams. Just as a little note, Felon here is, in his bloodlines has Super Sire 95 and that ram is from the UK and that breeder still breeds in the UK. And we can see that Felon, just because you're an old guy doesn't mean you can't still get it going. <laughs> okay.
Good boy. Felon wasn't feeling well, oh, a few months ago. But uh, when we were sorting through them all, we noticed that he was looking really good again now. So we thought, while we were eating lunch, we thought, you know, Felon basically has no faults. And he's an old guy. And Monty has some faults, and he's a young guy. So we can easily use Monty next year. So we made the executive decision to try Felon again. And I think it was a good decision. Felon is uh, truly a really nice ram. And this is going to be Hannibal's group the, with a British ram. Take a few nibbles. So now we gotta catch Hannibal. See how that goes. He's not usually the most negotiable about things like this and he was never a show sheep. So he's never been on a halter. So he's got him there. One thing nice about the British sheep is that they are easy keepers. Okay, we're try gonna try get Hannibal here. If Arnie can't get him across the yard, I'll let the ewes out. Because if he sees the ewes, he'll definitely follow them. <laughs> Oh, the dust. This is why you like to have your rams halter trained. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. So, this is the method I like to use if you can't get a sheep to come into the barn, a single sheep. Sheep are flock animals, so they like to see the group. And especially if you have a ram, if you put a bunch of good-looking women in front of him, he's liable to come running. Right now, Hannibal thinks he's being taken away from everyone. And see, now he's seen them, and he's coming up. Hey, buddy. Now he's feeling proud. Good girl's bringing him in. Hannibal's the one with the halter on. Good girls. So if you ever have just one sheep, like even in the field, if you're trying to catch it or whatever, um, if, if that one sheep can see a group of sheep, it's easier to let the one see that group and they gravitate towards them. Bring the group to the one and then they'll form a group all together and 
So now Arnie's got to catch Hannibal and get that halter off him. Which I imagine he's not too negotiable with right now. He's got other things on his mind. but he missed him. All I can say is I'm glad it wasn't me. So technically you would have taken the halter off when he let him go. That was your opportunity. <laughs> Hi, buddy. This rarely works. Okay, he got him. There. He could have wiped his nose. Looks like I see a red dot. What's that? Oh, the red's on him. I was going to say, someone in here has a red dot. It's nice and cool in the mornings, but the afternoons are still warm. So... That's it for Suffolk breeding groups. We got them done. We got them sorted. Took a long time to think on those rams, but I think we're happy with who we chose. Um, and probably next week we'll be getting the fall Dorset lambs into a breeding group with cash. We know who the ram is, so that's gonna be easy peasy. And um, until then, you know there's gonna be something happening tomorrow. I'm not sure what yet. But I'd appreciate it if you enjoyed your time with us today. If you'd give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already and all that fun stuff. And most importantly, please be sure to join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.